blog um, at Arthington but there's been a change of plan firstly apologies for the wind <laughs> although you wouldn't know but this is actually the nicest summer day we've had in Harrogate in ooh, weeks uh, secondly obviously this is a major thoroughfare to dog walkers so if anybody's coming along I'll have to go quiet for a bit uh, we're in Lucan Pass, or above it rather. Um, and the reason we're here is be- and not at Harlington is because my nan wanted to watch Wimbledon, the Wimbledon men's final, um, which was fine by me, but a little bit of a surprise. Uh, we had dinner a little early. I usually arrive at one, and it's usually on the table about half past one but it was ready when I arrived and uh, that was so that she could of course sit in front of the television and watch Roger Federer because she doesn't like Murray apparently Murray uh, if he wins uh, will probably dedicate his victory to Scotland rather than uh, Britain and Federer is her number one favourite in fact uh, she said he was um, just so very gorgeous Um, (laughs) so there we are she does in fact like uh, Nadal as well, but he has been knocked out of the competition, so there we are. Um, so we were watching that for uh, the amount of time that I usually spend round there. I've left her to it now. Um, I'm not such a big fan of tennis, it has to be said. That is a very strange tree. So this week's blog, there isn't much to say, um, because the week's just basically ticked, o- ticked along nicely. Um, and there aren't really any signs that next week will be any worse. I have to say I'm feeling a lot happier and a lot better than I was last week. And part of that is because the re- the the problems I had in last week's blog, I have sort of overcome by planning. I'm a bit of a strict J on the Myers-Briggs type uh, indicator of personalities. And what I like to do is have a... A plan of action I like to make plans I like to follow schedules and stuff like that and I had a long sit down because as I said I've I've talked about the sort of changes that I lifestyle changes I wanted to make um, a lot over years and not made that much progress and I, I had a I had a bit of a sort of brainwave and that was that it's no good me thinking that the motivation of where I'm going to get will be enough to get me through the hard parts um, en route. It's just not going to happen. Uh, what I need is, is motivation completely separate to that. Uh, I also had a brainwave that a lot of my money is actually spent on food um, and that I could cut that out significantly and use the money then to uh, basically um, create a system of rewards based on how well I do and that would be the motivation you see rather than the the actual long-term goal I would have motivation to move to these little goals uh, be able to give myself the reward at no extra cost using the money that I've saved um, from not spending uh, on food 
um, and uh, and I'm going to do that and see how that goes. I'm feeling so much better now just because I've sort of come up with that idea basically. Um, <laughs> and uh, I think it's going to work. I do think it's going to work. It's always good as well to sort of feel motivated um, and feel like it, it, you've made uh, there's a way for you to get from A to B and that's what I really feel that I've done here um, and that is a very very long long way down there but anyway that's what I feel like I've done um, which is basically about all I wanted to say uh, for this blog this week 